So hello everyone, I am Lillian Benzi, WPO Press and Communication Officer, and it's really a pleasure to be with you today to interview Sriman Banerjee, Head of Packaging Development and CDE at Takeda Pharmaceuticals Company. Sriman, we will start the series of World Pack Talk Show, WPO New Communication Project, which intends to bring relevant information to the global packaging community. World Pack Talk Show will also be a tool to promote networking and to give WPO guests the opportunity to interact with WPO members and the packaging professionals and companies around the globe. We decided to begin this project interviewing WPO corporate partners, and Takeda is the first one. And of course, we have this pleasure of receiving the representative of Takeda, a Japanese company committed to bring better health and a brighter future to people worldwide. As described in their webpage, Takeda's mission is to continue contributing to the health of patients worldwide through the creation of superior medicines. But now let's talk about Takeda's packaging and pharmaceuticals activities. So welcome Shreeman to World Pack Talk Show. Thank you, uh, Lillian, for your kind uh, introduction. And uh, hello, everyone. Look forward uh, for, uh, for discussions over the next uh, 10, 15 minutes and sharing uh, my thoughts on packaging in the pharmaceutical industry. Okay, so we have a first question, Sriman. Uh, the pandemic has impacted all industries, including the pharmaceutical. What are some of the new trends and how is the industry responding to them? So I would uh, mention that, you know, there are two things which has happened uh, on account of the pandemic and how uh, packaging has been responding to some of uh, the developments and the requests uh, which have been coming in. The first I would say is how do we address the medicines which are or vaccines which are being developed to address the issue of the pandemic itself and that was uh, as you would appreciate very challenging uh, at the start given that we had to develop vaccines or medicines within the short uh, period of time and that's where the packaging uh, community along with the scientific community partnered uh, to come up with uh, different solutions for uh, for uh, pharmaceutical packaging. And to cite an example, if you take uh, the vaccine development, uh, initially there was a thought process that uh, there will be shortage of glass vials. And uh, that's where uh, alternate COC vials uh, were considered uh, as a good alternative to glass in case a shortage of this nature comes through. Also, uh, there were various, uh, you know, regression scientific analysis done on barrier materials, which could be used for uh, drug products uh, as and when if uh, it became necessary to use uh, uh, medicines, uh, you know, for, for the purposes of uh, COVID medications. The other bit is a little bit long term in terms of impact on uh, the projects which are already in the pipeline or the various developments which are taking place uh, for uh, for the normal uh, course of the drug uh, development and uh, in that space we have seen uh, challenges in uh, uh, clinical studies because all clinical studies have become virtual and that's an area, again, where packaging uh, with its smart packaging alternatives, be it in terms of QR code, NFC, or Bluetooth connectivity with uh, the smartphone has uh, been leveraged in terms of uh, uh, remote uh, clinical studies, data compilation, and uh, 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 communication with uh, the subjects. Similarly, uh, there has been, you know, opportunities in terms of uh, developing uh, tools uh, for fast tracking stability and uh, 
understanding different uh, materials which can be selected uh, by again scientific regression uh, before mounting it on full stability so to compress uh, also the development time in many of these uh, cases wow so that's that some wow. of the trends uh, which we are seeing in uh, in pharmaceuticals Okay, so no doubt uh, the pharmaceutical was one of the most challenging industry in this moment. So, and uh, just completing the, the question, what are some of the future developments in pharmaceuticals and innovations that are arising in this moment, Sriman? So I would say uh, pandemic and the virtual ways of uh, working and, uh, you know, uh, being at home has opened up a uh, few opportunities which hitherto were, uh, uh, I mean, I won't say were not available, but there was an uh, apprehension of implementing some of them. So in this uh, uh, scenario, we have seen people getting adapted to in-home treatment as uh, well as, you know, going more towards uh, telemedicine rather than visiting doctor's office. So which opens up avenues in terms of uh, in-home, uh, uh, you know, medicinal packs, which are delivered directly to the patients uh, for use. Uh, it also opens up uh, opportunities in terms of uh, patients uh, interacting with uh, the product and understanding more about uh, the use of the product, uh, the side effects and uh, the benefits both. Uh, again, through uh, contact lens means, which could be leveraged through smart packaging. We see a lot of use of uh, active packaging coming up uh, in uh, some of the new drug development areas, particularly in uh, cell therapy, gene therapy, which, uh, you know, the packs will be adapted and it might be specific custom-made packs for some of these requirements. So these are some of the things which we uh, foresee going forward. Okay, perfect. And of course, all these uh, new things, it is nice to be included also in the global packaging community. And that's the reason why you are a corporate partner of WPO. So what are the advantages of being part of this global packaging community through WPO? So WPO is uh, uh, one of the Apex, uh, you know, packaging organizations, or it is the Apex packaging organization worldwide. And being partners uh, with WPO uh, enables us uh, to understand more about uh, the consumer patient insights, uh, trends, which is happening uh, worldwide. We are also able to uh, discuss uh, packaging uh, uh, topics with our peers in the industry using and leveraging this uh, platform. Uh, we are able to, uh, you know, get the more traction with our uh, uh, suppliers, partners, labs, and access to uh, a lot of information which uh, hitherto would have been, uh, you know, challenging uh, to get in some of, some of the areas. So we see a win-win partnership for both uh, WPO and uh, Takeda, and uh, that's the reason why we decided to be partners with uh, WPO. And we appreciate a lot because it's for sure a very valuable contribution having a professional like you and a company like Takeda as a corporate member. So Shreeman, to end our conversation, if you have to leave us to our audience a final message, what is the message? So I would say whenever we have a, a calamity or whenever we the world uh, you know has any crisis, packaging always uh, you know steps up and provides a solution. Even in the current crisis, when uh, the pandemic uh, impacted us, packaging again uh, uh, you know stood up and provided solutions uh, uh, to to the fraternity, be it uh, by uh, you know the. Uh, bottles or the packs for hand sanitizers or be it uh, the packs for uh, uh, food products uh, which uh, you know people uh, uh, can easily have uh, at home as well as several other areas uh, needless to mention uh, within packaging the support which they provided for uh, the packaging of uh, 
vaccines and packaging of various medicines as and when uh, it was authorized for emergency use so packaging is a very key component uh, in terms of uh, today's global requirement and it's as much uh, important as the product and uh, you know needs to be appreciated in that space having said that packaging also uh, would uh, you know going forward would be responsible and uh, you know take actions uh, in in the realm of sustainability and recycling and therefore will be seen as a much uh, aligned uh, uh, function or uh, in that space perfect perfect so uh shriman thank you very much for this great interview and it, i really think that the main message from our conversation today is that packaging each day more is part of the solution and not a problem so i thank you very much for this great interview and i thank all the audience and i hope to meet you soon in another world pet talk show thank you very much thank you shriman and thank takeda thank you lilian and thank you wpo thank you everyone okay see you bye